see, um, if you go back to that particular article, um, if you remember basically, what you've got in there was, it was talking about how, whose fault it was basically. And you notice in here, I've got the video that deals with Rick Santelli actually saying these things. So link the article with the video. And effectively what you're asking, it's not about policy, but really what it is, is you're talking about kind of an ideology. And this one, you could write about within the context of being a statist or being a socialist. The title of the article is basically saying, are we our brother's keeper? Well, socialists are oftentimes going to say, listen, we're all in this together and we do need to look out for each other. What Santelli says in there, though, is he says, do we need to reward the people that are drinking the water or do we need to reward the people that are carrying the water? So relate it back to the ideology. And that actually sounds a lot more like statism. So it kind of depends on how you would want to, to relate that. But, but don't get into the, the necessarily things that we, we didn't talk about. And that might be limiting you right now with some of your questions, but we're really just, we're not really going over new stuff right now. It's just the stuff that we had talked about. I worry about this class, because if only three of you showed up, I've never had a review session with three, and uh, this, this may be bad on Thursday. So handle your business, because if other people do worse, it probably means the curve's gonna be higher. Yeah, probably. What other questions do y'all have? Because I, I do the reviews just based on the questions, and there's usually more than three people. They said there were going to be more than three, three people the other day. So, um, how much? And the stuff that we have from our in class discussion, yeah, that, that have a lot of um, merit on the TEFL exam as well. Well, that's the short answers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you you figure people in here have been given all sorts of pieces about. Uh, you know, this side or that perspective so, or like, different things well, like that. I just wanted to ask, like I know that I've missed like two days. Yeah. And so for those days I've missed, I mean, would I have to derive my argument, counter argument over issues just from reading the article? I, unless you have somebody else's notes, I would sus I suspect so, yeah. So, okay, but, but, but would, I be, would, I, would I be okay if I derived it? Because I mean, these issues are pretty hot button issues and you can easily see what's the, what's the argument against, what's the argument as long as you've got some support, I, it, I'm i looking for good answers. That's really okay, hard. That should be okay. You know, we'll see. I, I don't even, I mean, I, I really don't know, okay. but we'll know when it's too late. That's probably about the best way. Yes? Uh, what's the difference between populism and socialism? Well, I don't know that there's necessarily a difference um, that I'm going to ask you that question, I mean. But if you remember with libertarians, we had just talked about this. Libertarians are going to believe that the government that governs best governs least. Populists, on the other hand, are going to believe, in fact, that the government that regulates more is actually going to help. And their argument really is, is that with Joe and Jane Sixpack, there are certain things that Joe and Jane Sixpack can't do on their own that government has to help them do. So, you know, if you wanted to challenge a big company, Lori versus a big company is going to not be a win. But Lori and the government together challenging a big company is going to be a little bit different. And the thought process with a populist is government can make better decisions for you than you, in fact, can make for yourself. Now, if you remember, I gave you all three articles that dealt with populism. One of them was T.T., the prostitute. And if you remember on that one, T.T. was HIV positive. She continued, even though she'd gone through counseling and been arrested on a number of occasions, turning tricks, and then she infected somebody. And she was now thrown into jail in Texas. And the argument was, should she be required to take uh, medical treatment against her will? Well, if you remember in that particular situation, um, ultimately, you know, there were some people that kind of felt like we needed to legalize prostitution, which really wasn't where we were going. Some people thought that maybe she should be given the death penalty, which again, probably isn't where we're going, but you could argue, I mean, you, you could argue that in Texas. Some people would argue that for the good of her and for the good of the other inmates, she needed to take this, this medical treatment. And then other people would be like, listen, this is still her body. She should be allowed to do what she wants. Well, a populist would say, listen, you've made all these bad decisions. You're infecting people. You're infected yourself. You know what? We need to make decisions for you because you've demonstrated that you can't make them on your own. The Hugs article is another good one. And y'all hated the Hugs article. But if you remember on that, you're talking about those little kids that greet each other with hugs and the New Jersey school system had banned the hugs. Well, remember, these are little kids. 
They're, they've got you know, hormonal issues and, 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 and puberty issues and things of this sort. And they might not be in the best position to decide if they should be hugging people or not. Um, the New Jersey school basically said, we're gonna ban all hugs, even though these, these aren't supposed to be sexual or romantic. And y'all got really angry about that. But a populist would say, listen, we need to make decisions for people that can't make them for themselves. We need to look out for people um, when, again, they might be doing things that, that could impact others. And then the third article was about Wolfhawk. And you remember Wolfhawk, right? Wolfhawk was the guy who was convicted of double rape and sodomy 25 mm -hmm. years before, mm -hmm. and then had the baby in Pennsylvania, and his son, I believe it was his son, was taken away from him by the Commonwealth. And the debate or the discussion on that was, okay, how big of a role does government play in protecting that newborn? Does Wolfhawk, if he's been clean for 25 years, has he demonstrated that he should be allowed to, to raise the child? And, and give that one uh, a really, a really good, a good look over. I think that article was the sex offender article. So give that one a really good look over. And ultimately, Wolfhawk was not only not given visitation, no, 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 pardon me, not, not only not given custody, but he wasn't even given visitation. And then his wife, who was a drug addict, was given limited visitation, but she was given visitation, the child was kept so far away, she couldn't actually get there. So give that one a good read over. But link the articles back with the terms is usually a safe way of doing it. So when you're giving us like the essay question, mm -hmm. are you going to give us like the, only the title or you're going to be specifically like a... I might give you the name of the person. I might, I, I wouldn't give you the title because some of the titles are long, but I might give you the name of the person or I might give you the issue, the issue yeah. and then you would write about the issue or I might give you a term like populism explain populism and give me two examples. And then you would need to explain a couple of the articles. Okay, yes? So you're not gonna be asking us about any specific article, right? Or maybe? Yeah, I'm gonna be asking you about specific articles. I mean, basically what I'm gonna be asking you to do is to tell me the story. Okay, um, now if you were to have a question about TQ um, prostitute, yeah. and if I were to argue for legalization of prostitution, would that give me points off? Probably not give you as many points as you'd want because I want you to lay out the ideas of the article. Okay, but if the I other do thing. That, but then also talk about the um, You know what? With time constraints and things like oh. this, you make sure that you really answer the question. I'm going to set it up so that I'm going to be here at 11 and I'll leave time so that we can go from 11 to 1. So time pressure shouldn't be an issue, but I do have a two o'clock class in Rockville, so if I leave here like right at one, I'm gonna be hustling to get down there. So make sure that, that you answer what is asked for, and then at the end, maybe go back and add social commentary, but, but that's not gonna be the most important thing. It's not gonna be the most important thing. If you notice from chapter four, political science, politics, politicians, and polity, these were pretty straightforward definitions. Um, the one, actually, the politics article was the one that was dealing with, um, the politics article was the one that was dealing with um, the, uh, the acid case. The politicians article with Gingrich and child labor, that's the article that I used there. And then polity, I had used the, the Washington team name article, and I had also used the, the taco stand article. And remember, with a polity, it's going to be a like-minded group. So as a polity, being a like-minded group, you could be very much in favor of a group doing something, or you could be very much in favor of organizing against something. And I think the, the Washington team name article was really a group that was trying to preserve that name, whereas the taco stand article was talking about being against a particular group that was building in Georgia and then in other towns. And do you remember some of the laws that they had come up with uh, in the Taco Stand article, some of the examples of things? No What's that? No loitering. No loitering, how? Explain. Uh, they didn't want uh, specific individuals uh, staying in that area where, um, like they didn't want just random people staying around that area. Okay, that may be, but what were like the specific? Yeah, they banned people from being able to sit on their front porch. And if you remember, the article said because that's what Hispanics do. 
or if you remember, um, it, it was dealing with all forms only needed to be in English. I think you had mentioned this one already, Tim. They banned the taco stand in Gwinnett County, Georgia, because that attracted a certain group of people. And if you ban the taco stand and the taco stands have to go somewhere else, their logic, right or wrong, was then the people that frequent the taco stands would have to go somewhere else to get the tacos. Or if you remember, um, there were some in there, I believe there, that you, it was, uh, I think it was Pat's cheesesteaks in Philly that said, when you order here, you only order in English. Oh, yeah. You know, you get the idea. Go back through and make sure that you're comfortable with some of the different policies. And some of those policies were like big city and some of them were small town. Do you remember what the difference was between nation and state? Yeah. Um, yeah, go ahead. Just, yeah, just start. Um, uh, state is um, a country government. It's, um, it's different than a nation in the fact that nation is talking about a group of people with yeah. a culture rather than state was talking about the government and its, um, like regu it's re uh, regulation and its control of one area. Nation is really talking about that group of people idea, and you're, you're right on that. And it could be a group of people, and it could be their shared history, their shared language, their shared culture, their shared religion. So you're really talking about the more personal side of the idea. And some people think of a na nation as being a government. Well, it's really about the people that are part of that. The state, you're right, is the government. It's the structure. It's the authority. And the thought is, is that if you have a nation state, the nation is going to be representing the people, the state is going to be representing the government, and then together that would be a healthy peace. Do you remember what the chapter said came first? Was it the people or was it the government? It was. The government. It was. They said that the state came first, and I struggle with that I because I, still disagree with that. I, I really think I do too, but for our purposes, for test purposes, I'll probably have to go with the state as being the thing that came first. And you remember the example that they gave? It was the American. United States and the argument was we didn't become Americans until we drafted a constitution and the government basically the constitution the law if you will kind of artificially bound us together so kind of keep that thought in mind um, we talked a little bit about socialism and when I had given you socialism I think I had mentioned to y'all the race analogy you remember the race analogy